Okay, so I had to pause really quickly because I had someone in my home helping me with some things, some manual labor. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so we were looking at this um, post, right? So I said, although I definitely do not agree with how this individual behaved towards the cop because it was dangerous for her. So y'all, it's literally dangerous for you to stand in direct opposition with a cop. And that's sad to say. It's sad to, to say that this is our reality because the police don't have any power without society, which is us giving them the power that they have. And the power that they have should be used to keep people safe, right? To administer and enforce law and order. Okay, not to fear monger, not to uh, cater to your own ego, not to harass people for that are driving and smoking and you don't like it because they're being rude, right? That's not what your role is for. That's not what society has given you this role and by de facto, the power to do, okay? Gross negligence is what I call this, a grotesque abuse of power. The cop's behavior was a grotesque abuse of power. He didn't pull her over for a DUI, right? Because again, in Priscilla's example, she tried to pull in another case, right? Which actually lawyers, this is how lawyers do things in court, right? They try to pull in cases to try to prove their point, right? So I guess she might be confused as to whether she maybe she thinks she's a lawyer or something i don't know what's going on but she tried to pull in that one case because usually if you're going to do that use that strategy as a lawyer you have to have like a, a, you know some at, at least more than one case or you have to have one case and a solid case of your own right and in this case priscilla didn't even have a point right you made a whole video bashing someone first of all that's no longer alive anymore how childish of you to not find a better example for the point that you're trying to make, okay, um, on a high profile case, right? And you were wrong. You gave out 100% of the blame in this case incorrectly because you were too blinded and emotional to see that really the crack is not in, not just in, her behavioral response. The crack is in the system itself. This has been a major political debate for in the most in the most recent years. It's a very, very big debate when it comes to the topics involving police. I don't know how she doesn't know that. I don't know how she doesn't know that, right? So he didn't get pulled over for a DUI. The case that she used, he got pulled over for a DUI, right? He got pulled over, swerving everywhere, doing the most that would lead the cops to believe that this person is intoxicated. Hence, the reasonable and justifiable reasoning behind asking him to get out of the car in the first place. Now you want to take that and compare it to the current case that we have here, where there is no reasonable, there is no ju justifiable reason that the cop has or had. And he kept exhibiting said behavior throughout the course of the investigation, lying, making things up to save his own ego. So much so that he lost his job. Sprinkle, 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 sugar so much so that he lost his job okay so this is not a character that should be anywhere close to the role of a police you cannot dismiss dismiss the role that he plays in her demise you can't dismiss it it was a bad example on your part to use so it's like sorry not sorry it's common sense you thought this was a cult because in your Delulu mind, you're running a cult and everyone should just be saying yes to you. You have trash moderators 
blocking the op but I voice my opinion. That's what, that's what, I mean, it's a free country, ma'am. So you trying to like block people's, actually, actually block people's opinions out makes you a, nothing more than a cult leader. That's it. And I don't know if you know the psychology behind cults, but it ain't good. It's not good. Okay. So um, he didn't pull her over for a DUI. It was for a broken light for which he could have simply wrote her the ticket and moved on like it was his job to do. But yet we're sitting here listening to Priscilla who is saying very idiotic things when it comes to this case. Oh, the woman should be the leader. She should have known better because she's a woman. Then why the heck do we have these cops here? Why do we have any males in the position of cops? Because last I checked, in exchange for the power that we gave them, what we expect, and they, it is their responsibility to be more emotionally intelligent than the norm, than normal people. It is their responsibility to have more emotional control than normal people. The power is not free. Nothing in life is free. It comes with responsibilities. Okay. Um, so let's see. So, right. And keep, and, and kept it moving. But then he kept fitting his, his own ego by making unnecessary demands. He started out nice. He was nice. Get, you know, you know how, how fast you were going, blah, blah, blah. He started out nice. But as soon as there was a position, a threat to his authority and his ego, guess what happened? He detoured completely. Started making unnecessary demands just so he could feed his ego. Telling her to get out of the car unnecessarily without justifiable cause or reasonable cause. To feed just so he could feed his ego because his ego was hurt because he felt disrespected. It's like, sir, if your ego is hurt that easily and you feel disrespected, then you don't have no business in this position, in this role. You need to go find a blue collar job or something that regular people do on a daily basis. This role ain't it. It comes with too much power for you. And you don't even understand the fact that it's not your power. It is the power that we gave you. Society. It's not your power. If it were your power, you would still have it. It's not your power. It's the power. The role is in the power. The power is in the role itself. The position. The job. Not you. But here you are trying to wield that power as though it were yours. And it's not. And the quickest, the quickest way to remind someone of that fact is you take them out of the role and you show them exactly who they are. This is who you really are. So now he's without a job. He got fired, appropriately so. And in P's video, she in Priscilla's video, she was saying, oh, look, now you caused them to get fired unjustly. Are you dumb? Unjustly unjustly all right Let's see here so um it was for a broken light for which he could have simply wrote her the ticket and moved on but then he kept feeding his ego by making unnecessary demands okay which is why in this case, it was determined that he, that he was irresponsible and not truthful 
throughout the whole investigation and therefore he lost his job. It's not her fault he lost his job. That's his fault. Okay. Because she even tried to blame that on her. <laughs> she even tried to blame that on her. I was like, are you insane? We still have to share the earth with these species. We still have to find a way to share the earth with these species. We can't just pretend like they're not here because even though we are the leaders, they will still continue to benefit from said leadership. So you cannot just let them off the hook because they dumb, because they're dumb. No, you don't let them off the hook for that. You use them as an example to the rest of their species. This is what happens when you, when you lose your mind and you lose your temper and you don't know what you're doing. You get removed from said position. And by de facto, said power. But that's not what she said, though. She wanted to blame even the loss of this guy's job on her. The idiocracy of the whole thing, right? It's not her fault that he lost his job. That's his fault, okay? This is not a case where you can simply put 100% blame on the victim for her lost life. And I call her victim because typically I wouldn't use the word victim. I would use the word survivor. I try to be very careful about that. But guess what? She did not survive this one. So this is actually, she is a victim here. She didn't survive. And that's another point, right? When she gets... When Priscilla gets called out, now she 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 throws out triggering terms to try to like breathe and survive above water. Okay, so she'll start saying things like victimhood, victimhood mentality, right? But she will never address the fact that we already took responsibility for for that action, for our action, for the part that we played, which is don't confront these males directly, especially if they are in such a role as police. Just do what they tell you to do, move on. I've been stopped by the cops before, that's what I do. They, they gave me a ticket, whatever, as long as I can just move on with my life, right? And you can place a complaint after. You, you have the right to ask them for their name, you have the right to ask them for their badge number. So you can place your complaint after the fact. Okay, so this is where the whole thing, I mean, it was insane. Totally insane, y'all. Okay, so she didn't say any of that. She like went as far as to blame this lady for him losing his job. Can you imagine? It's like if you're a cop in today's day and age and you were, you've been sleeping under a rock, you don't even understand the type of heat that police have been in for the past few years and that they're still in that heat because they're so irresponsible. And you go and you continue on like nothing's happening, trying to flex ego and power that's not even yours. You get what you get. Spring sprinkle. Okay. So. Um, right. So this is not a case where you can simply put 100% of the blame on the victim for her lost life. The cop is just as much to blame. Your continuous attempts to put 100% blame on the victim shows a lack of in-depth knowledge when it comes to economics, sociology, and psychology. So the argument posted here is a moot point. Mood point, mood point. Okay. If your goal was to teach Black women that they have no business being that aggressive, being that unruly, regardless of the situation, especially not in public, pick a better example. This one was not it. Okay. This one made you look crazy. <laughs> And it just showed all of your flaws. You're a cult leader. 
that's what you are. Let's call it what it is. Okay. The only reason I might I might even continue to see is just so I can push back with these type of comments. And as you see, I put money into it. I put my money where my mouth is. All these sheep that are following you that don't even have two cents to rub, rub together to put in your pocket. Okay. So this is the thing. So anyway, there's been a lot of like back and forth. One of the only positives that came from this is that the conversation is being had, which I always feel like is the most important thing for us to have these conversations because that's where it truly starts, right? Um, so she posted a few responses. I thought there was one before that one. Uh, does she take it off? Oh my gosh, she, she took it off. <laughs> she took it off, y'all. She posted a response and I, I demolished her in that response. Okay, so her response was basically, she said, well, let me see if it's one of these. Let me see. I don't think it is though. She took it off because she's an idiot. Okay, let me see. Um, no, she took it off. So, um, all right. So she had posted a direct response to me and she took it off of here. Y'all, she took it off of here. She had posted a direct response to me telling me how I just can't see the truth and I'm responding off of emotions and I said what I said type of vibe, right? And I responded to her and I said, lady, I'm, you, you sound ridiculous. You cannot have the power that police have without responsibility. You can't have one without the other. That's what we've been arguing about in the most recent years. That's what has caused so much social conflict and distraught. You see it on the news, you see it in politics, you see it everywhere. Because one without the other does not work. Okay, see how that works? Okay, so that's essentially in a nutshell what I told her and she deleted it. She deleted her comment and her response today because I demolished her in that response. You cannot argue with me. You're better off having me on your side. You're better off. <laughs> You're better off because when you say something stupid, I'm gonna let you know, like I'm not a sheep, okay? I spent a lot of years in school, I'm a PhD, okay? And I didn't get PhD to end up being sheep to nobody, period. So she said, oh, like, you know, the way she behaved towards the cop was the same thing that she's been trying to say. The way that Sandra behaved towards the cops was unacceptable. And I said, lady, your video is unacceptable. The video analysis that you made on this case is thoroughly unacceptable. Because you, in that video, gave her 100% of the blame. That is literally un unacceptable. Okay, you're teaching, you're teaching women how to not have a mind of their own. Okay, so they they you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to get them from relying on males to relying on you so that you can feed your own ego. And I didn't think that before, but now I see it very, very clearly. Um, especially from a psychological perspective. There's a lot of gaslighting that she does that is literally insane to me. All right, so here we are. Okay, here, you guys, I found it. It just wasn't, maybe it wasn't going down, further down enough. Um, she deleted, yeah, she deleted it. This is, diff this is a different one. So I responded to her. I guess she deleted my response or something. I don't know. Or maybe... Let me see. So this is what, yes, she did. You can keep rejecting. So this is the response I was actually referring to. Yes, she did. You can keep rejecting that if you want to. The justifiable reason was when he pulled her over for her traffic inter in 
fraction. That was not a justifiable reason, ma'am, for telling her to get out of the car. And that was a justifiable reason for giving her a ticket because of her broken light or whatever. That wasn't a justifiable reason for telling her to get out of her car. So you see the level of gaslighting? It's like insanity. It's crazy. So just because you don't like the fact that the fact, blatant disrespect and basic F you uh, da, 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 caused him to ask her to exit the video, blatant disrespect. So because he feels disrespected, he has the right to harass her and tell her to get out of the car. And then we wonder why these, this, these police go around thinking it's okay to just pull the trigger, pull the trigger on people. The reason they think that is because of people and individuals like these, like Priscilla, Priscilla. It, it doesn't, it's crazy to me. So because you feel disrespected, you now want to justify and use that as an excuse To, to to irresponsibly wield power that's not even yours to wield. It's not even yours. You didn't build that power. Okay, you didn't give yourself that power. We gave you that power. It's our power, society. And that's why he got fired. So it's, again, moot point, moot point, right? She was wrong at every single turn. No one's saying that she wasn't wrong when it comes to her behavioral response. No one said that, move on, okay? Her behavior caused all this and he had every right to ask her to exit per Supreme Court. He did not have every right to, actually, he had the right to ask her. He didn't have justifiable and reasonable cause or reason to ask her. When you go to court, what do they say, right? In order to prove someone guilty or not guilty, that's what you go to court for. What do you use to do that? Evidence, right? When you go to court, you want to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that someone is guilty. Beyond a reasonable doubt. So the court that you're using in your in your own example, okay, it's we're not arguing about whether or not they had the right to do it. The, the cops have the right to do it. It's part of the it's part of the package and the power that society gives them that we give them. That's not what we arguing about, ma'am. Okay, what we're talking about here is what is the justifiable and reasonable explanation for telling this woman to get out of her own car because she was smoking and rude to you? That's not a justifiable, that's not a reasonable explanation at all. Okay, so when we go to court, we are looking for evidence that shows beyond a reasonable doubt. Okay, we're not just looking at the law by itself. Okay, it's both together. Okay, so she's in the habit of telling half truths. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if like she believes this nonsense. I also wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't believe it and she's just manipulating the, her following, the sheep, the herd, right? Um, the legitimate stop gives the cop the authority to ask you to exit the vehicle. Yeah, just because you have the authority, the authority to do something does not mean that you have re reasonable and justifiable cause, right? So when you mishandle and misuse that authority, you will be questioned on that. Especially when it causes, when it ends in, causes and ends in the, the, the demise of another person. Can't get away with it then. Okay. 
Um, the truth, you can all keep rejecting the facts and the truth behind your feelings all day, but you will not change the reality, blah, blah, blah. Consequence, a result or effect of an action or condition. Yeah, he got fired. That was the consequence of his stupidity. And in your video, you try to blame the victim for getting, for him getting fired. You know, the idiocracy of the whole thing, right? All behaviors have built-in consequences. Okay, then why are we not analyzing the consequences of the cop's behavior? Because he played a major role in her demise. If he would have just done his job accordingly and appropriately, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now. Okay, so she tries to lie and gaslight and make it seem like we're not taking responsibility. We ain't taking responsibility for blah, 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 blah. We already took responsibility and you seem to be, um, you seem to not know how to read. <laughs> or are you just ignoring that? I don't know what you're doing, girl. I don't know what you are doing, girl. Um, so... I did respond here, okay? This was my response. I said, P, what you're saying here is very contradicting to what you try to preach in all your other videos. And you're saying it in regards to a very high profile case. I'm sorry, but you seem like the emotional one here. You seem like the one that is making these videos and comments primarily based off of emotions. So from your logic and reasoning, cops have unmitigated power. From her logic and reasoning, that's that's what she's telling her following. Just follow whatever the cops say. And if, if they're douches, it's still your fault. It's still 100% your fault. Are you insane? This, is, this case is, one of the reasons this case is so high, high profile is because Unfortunately for you, Priscilla, it goes beyond basic thinking. Okay, you have to engage in more complex ways of thinking. Right? So, uh, right. So, from your logic, reasoning, right, from your logic and reasoning, cops and cops have unmitigated power. This is what you're telling us that cops that cops, because they are able to and have the right to pull people out of their cars, they shouldn't be questioned or assessed on what the reasoning or justification is behind their decisions. That is ludicrous. Okay, that's ludicrous. Society gives police power. It is not the other way around. Now, this is deeper level, more complex thinking. She cannot go here with me. She can't because she doesn't have the educational level to do it, right? And I'm seeing that now. She can't go here with me, okay? Um, police do not have unmitigated power. Police do not have power without responsibilities. The reason that police have this power is because it is their responsibility to assess each situation justly fairly and reasonably. If you pull someone over because of a broken light, sure, you give them a ticket. That's the consequence. That's the reasonable consequence for someone that has a broken light. You know, if it, if you assess, even that is circumstantial, if they don't have a warrant, if they, because they have to check if you have a warrant. Or not. So even that is circumstantial, right? So you, but you pull them over and the reason is for a broken light, you can give them a ticket, you know, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Um, so sure. Cool. Right. So that's not what what's being contest, contested. You're, you're grasping straws. Right. Even in the DUI case. Oh, sorry. I skipped the, this paragraph. Um, the reason that police have this power is because it is their responsibility to assess each situation justly, fairly and reasonably. If you pull someone over because of a broken light. Sure. But then what is your reason for telling her to get out of the car? What is the justifiable reason for, for asking her to get out, get out of her car? Because your ego is hurt? Be because you feel disrespected? 
it doesn't make sense. And this is why there has been such a huge movement against police for a few years now. And it's people like this that continue to promote the BS, the BS, okay? Um, even in the DUI case that you cited, the reason the cop asked the individual to get out of the car is because they were swerving, giving the possibility that they were impaired. Hence, you constantly trying to force, I've noticed this too, she tries to force connections that aren't there. She tries to force cause and effect all the time. You're comparing apples to oranges with no regard for circumstances and situational differences. You're nuts. Okay. So even in the DUI case that you cited, the reason the cops asked the individual to get out of the car is because they were swerving, um, giving the possibility that they were impaired. Hence, you constantly trying to force these connections with such a lack of in-depth understanding and knowledge when it comes to economic psych psychology and sociology continues to be baffling. You are literally contradicting yourself by saying the only thing the cop needed was to pull her over because her light was broken. And from there, he can just go insane and do whatever he wants, right? Because he did it nice at the beginning. It's like saying a woman that ends up in an abusive relationship because he, because he was nice at the beginning, it's her fault that he then turned abusive to, towards her five months into the relationship. It's the same concept, right? Retarded and ridiculous, okay? Um, and from there, he can just go insane and do whatever he wants. So he doesn't have to assume any of the responsibility for his decisions apart from that. And he can just be out here wild and with, on mitigated power. It doesn't work that way. Hence, this is exactly why he lost his job because, because it was appropriate for him to lose his job. That is why it was determined that he is not fit for the role of police and the power it yields. Okay, period. She then goes on to leave another, man, male police officers are not mental health specialists. Like, that's an excuse. First of all, I'm not even the one that brought up mental health in this discussion. One of her minions brought up mental health. <laughs> it was one of her minions that brought up mental health. Um, somewhere here, I think it might have been her. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But one of her minions brought up mental health into this discussion. I didn't even bring up mental health into this discussion, okay? Um, so, but she goes on to say, ma'am, male police, I don't know why people get triggered by the word ma'am, ma ma I mean, I don't understand it, but whatever. Ma'am, male police officers are not mental health specialists, right? And she was not schizophrenic. No one said anything about schizophrenic. <laughs> like, girl, get it together. What is wrong with you? Um, okay. If people are mentally are are mental health patients, they shouldn't be driving. They should be in mental facilities. So she doesn't even know what the definition of mental health is because this whole thing is very very stupid and ignorant. You didn't even read through the 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 comment thread, so so that you could understand and realize that one of your people brought up mental health. I did not bring up mental health. It was one of your followers, one of your medians, one of your sheep that brought up mental health. I simply answered to whatever it is that they said when in regards to mental health, right? So she's basically saying anyone with mental health should stay off of driving. The stupidity. Mental health is everything. She doesn't even know what the definition of mental health is. And mental health is everything. So it is very stupid for you to say everyone should stay out off of driving, right? Everyone in this system is suffering from some form of depression. So that ain't no excuse for unruly behavior. So she contradicting herself, saying, so if is, is depression not a form of mental health? So if everyone is suffering from mental health, then no one should be driving. By your assessment and what you just said in, in less than a paragraph, ma'am, if 
mental depression is if everyone suffers from depression because depression is a part of mental health and no one should be driving like are you even thinking and processing through the nonsense that's coming out of your mouth it's like stay in your lane okay priscilla's lane is insulting males <laughs> and putting males in their place she needs to stay in her lane she needs to stay in her lane you don't fit in anywhere else stop trying to fit in in areas that where you have no knowledge okay and stop calling yourself a psychologist it is illegal to do that she's done that in a few of her videos and i let it slide because i was uh sub I subscribed to her and liked um some of her ideas but stop calling yourself a psychologist. That is a protected term. You are not a psychologist, ma'am. It takes several years for us to get to where we are. Okay, so stop doing that. That's stupid. But look, the contradiction and the idiocracy in less than a paragraph. Y'all ain't trying to give men an excuse for their behaviors when their violence is a result of societal pressure and depression. We don't care what the excuse is when it comes to them being violent right it's not that we're not we're trying to give them excuse or we're not trying to give them the excuse or whatever right um i don't know what she meant with this y'all try y'all ain't trying to give men an excuse for their behavior when their violence is a result of social pressure and depression oh okay this is a result of her not knowing how to read she didn't go back through the comment thread thread to see that i wasn't the one that brought up mental health. One of your sheep brought up mental health. So I wasn't trying to make mental health be an excuse for anything. I didn't even bring it up. I just responded to it. Okay, so I don't know what that's about. She needs to go back and read through her, her thread instead of answering blindly. It is unacceptable. I do not back down from speaking the whole, this is not the whole truth, girl. This is a partial truth. You sound insane, you sound dumb, all right? Um, my response was, no, this is not the whole truth. All you do and all you're saying are only partial truths. Ma'am, this shows that this shows me that you don't even know what the definition of mental health is. You don't even understand that mental health is everything. So it literally makes no sense for you to say people with mental health challenges shouldn't drive. I'm licensed and a mental health professional and I'm a psychologist. I actually have the right to use the term. <laughs> right um and so what you're saying makes no sense also police officers might not be trained in mental health um and might not be trained mental health specialists but they should and have a responsibility to have at least a minimum understanding of mental health okay they should and it is their responsibility to know more than the average person when it comes to mental health that is the point that's the point. No one is trying to give her an excuse for unruly behavior. So if you actually took the time to read my original post, you will see that I explicitly said that I did not agree with her behavior. But that doesn't mean I agree with you either. Right? As far as your review and assessment and the video that you made, I extremely, I still extremely disagree with you and that video because you gave her 100% of the blame. That is unreasonable and it is illogical okay so yeah i demolished her it was it was insane all right so i don't you know i got other videos to make so i'm gonna get off of this because the this it's so disappointing and it's ridiculous the power trip that this this old this this whole space is on where you can't even disagree in peace i was on her live where she was talking about this and trying to address it and they kept timing me out so they put me on time out to the point where i wasn't able to respond to any of the nonsense that she was saying it's a cult it's a cult and i gotta tell y'all if you didn't know especially if you're black and especially for black women if you did not know and you haven't seen Caucasian or non-Black people 
um, do a live or you haven't been in their space, they don't do this. This this cultic thing, they don't do. You can literally go on there, on their live or on their page and say whatever you want. They're not going to like time you out. There's no time out. They're, they're, they don't do any of that. And, and then y'all wonder why economically they stay on top while we are here. Because you keep jumping from one unhealthy thing to another under the premise of, oh, it's the victimhood mentality. No, it's not the victimhood mentality. It's the, it's the mentality to be able to use your brain to process through information and not be sheep. That's, that's the mentality that it is. It's the ability to be discerning. Just because she says something does not make that truth, does not make it full truth. I seek out the truth for myself. Then she'll start insulting you, right? She started insulting me. Oh, based on trauma bonding. Lady, you have a few courses. I am a, I am actually a licensed mental health professional. I am actually a psychologist. You see those degrees? Trauma bond? I don't have a reason to trauma bond. You're wrong just off of the basis that you are illogical. There's no reason for me to trauma bond. Trauma bond based on what? Based off of what? Based off of what? I am a I am an observer and a commentator in this case. Okay, like what 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 trauma are we bonding over? <laughs> so she wants to throw out trigger words to continue to control her following, and they're idiots, right? So they all stay there barking when she says bark not knowing that they are literally in a cult you're in a cult the first time the first time you say something that doesn't agree with her stupidity guess what happens the same thing that happens when you in a cult sprung sprung all right y'all i got other videos to make i'm done with the idiocracy of this the, of her her stupidity Okay, when it comes to this uh, very enlightening subject and video that she made. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it rolling and move on to talk about other things. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.